today I'm finally getting to film a video in my new house which is kind of exciting and since I teach dance lessons out of my house I am now in my little dance room. I thought as a celebratory moment I would do a dance slash book related video and since the only books I have in my new house right now are children's books, I thought I would do a video about my favorite dance-related children's books. The reason I have a lot of dance-related children's books is, of course, I just enjoy them because I'm a dancer, but also when I have a class with little children, such as maybe three to seven years old, it's a great treat at the end of class. And I don't like to give my students candy. Some people do. I just prefer to give them a story and a sticker at the end of class just to celebrate their hard work because, you know, it's a lot of work and focus when you're really little. If you just know a kid that really enjoys dance or might be interested in dance, Dance children's books are a great way to get them knowledgeable about the terms and what elements are gonna happen in a dance class or just in a performance and things like that. And so it's just a really nice way to introduce them to things in a fun way. So I thought I would just share some of my favorites. Some of them are just my favorites to actually kind of just sit and read even though I'm grown up. But some of them are just really great end of class reads or nighttime bedtime story reads. I thought the best way to do this was to sort of separate these books by the ages that I think they were best for and I thought I would start with the three and up age group. So the favorite books that I like to start my students reading are Tina Ballerina's Ballet Class. And yeah, sorry about this. Tina used to live right here. This is Tina. Uh, and she used to do a pirouette, but she fell out. But the children still seem to enjoy the book regardless of Tina's absence in this book. This one's great for all sort of young ages just because it does have really short sentences and great pictures. This one's really good to teach a few beginning ballet terms. It talks about what some of the French terms mean in ballet and things like that. And it also shows you how to do your bun and things. And it's just a great introduction to what ballet class is about. The next one is Dancing Class. And this is a book about a pig named Piggy who goes to dance class. It's all in rhyme, which makes it really memorable and interesting. Not much on ballet terms in here, and that's not a bad thing. It's just more about how the order of different things go in class, which is kind of important when they start transitioning out of the little itty bitty classes into the bigger, older people classes, so then they'll know kind of what they're doing. Next group of books is for the maybe four to five year old group and up uh, because they do have little longer stories, little longer sentences and three and four year olds sometimes, you, you know, just can't sit still and focus that long. It's not their fault, it's just their age group. <laughs> and so you wanna kind of wait till they're maybe five to read these ones because they are a little longer, but they're equally as fun. So this one is called Priscilla's Paw de Deux, and they spell it paw, and there's a reason why, because it's obviously about a ballet dancing mouse who is looking for a place to dance because her apartment, her little hidey hole is too small, and she finds a dance studio. Unfortunately, there's a cat in the dance studio, and she's a little bit surrounded, and then she realizes that the cat is actually really nice and her and the cat decide to put on a show. And so it's great for learning how to dance with different people and it also tells you what a pas de deux is, which is when two people dance together. So they're learning a little term and how to dance with different types of people because you will have to, you know? So I really enjoy this one. Uh, the characters have a lot of attitude and craziness. Uh, be prepared for Priscilla's attitude. She kind of like is definitely a drama queen. Next one is of course just Angelina's ballerina's ballet class. 
you know, you gotta love some Angelina Ballerina. What I like about this one is that it teaches terms, but it also shows children about helping each other in class. People that maybe are having a hard time with choreography need to help to learn. You can help them out. It's about uh, learning how to get ready for a performance and also about different elements of the class. So that one's pretty fun. Of course, I just love ballet dancing mice. I just love them so much. Last one in this age group is called Dance Tanya. I really love Dance Tanya because it's super cute. It's about this little girl named Tanya and she has an older ballerina sister, but she's too young to take class yet. So she dances in her room and practices the moves on her own. And then finally, at the end, she gets to go to dance class and it's like, you, you won, Tanya, you finally get to go to class. And it's just a really super cute book. And it does teach a little bit about terms in there, but also it shows about performance and what's all that about. The next group of books are for people that are maybe six or seven and up. First one, my absolute fave, is Dancing in the Wings, which is written by Debbie Allen. If you don't know who she is, she's an awesome choreographer and dancer and director and actress and all those awesome, possum things. I love her and she wrote this book. So the main character in this book is very, very tall and has a very specific style and it has a lot of attitude and sometimes she doesn't always, because of her height, get to do the parts in ballet that she wants. And she kind of feels bad about that at first, but then she gets to audition for a summer intensive and she gets a new experience and she gets to find her place on the stage where she fits. And I think that is great. It teaches you about celebrating your differences, celebrating your body type, uh, which is sometimes hard to do in dance. I think that's that makes it one of my favorite. Plus, it's just got some fun dialogue and I kind of enjoy that. This one is Alley Cat's Meow. This is a fun rhyming book about red and ginger and this is a great children's book to show what ballroom dance is about, in my opinion, because it goes through different partnering dances, specifically ballroom ones, and obviously they're called red and ginger. So, <laughs> if you know Fred and ginger, you'll get the reference. This one is a cool one because it's just called dance with an exclamation point. And this one's great because it shows what being in a dance company is about. All the elements, how the dancers warm up, how they work with the choreographer and up to the performance. What I think is kind of cool is that the illustrations sort of demonstrate a modern or contemporary type of dance. So it's not only ballet, it's got, you know, other styles going on in there. And it's got a fun sort of style just in the artwork because they're sort of sick people, but not really. Next one is Swan Lake. It's basically just the story of Swan Lake, but the illustrations, which are really beautiful, are not swans, they are ballerinas. So they're learning about what the story of Swan Lake is about. This is great if you're gonna have a student or a child that's gonna go attend the ballet in Swan Lake uh, in the future or soon, whatever. Swan Lake might be a little hard for them to sit through um, when they're really little, but you can introduce them to the story and then when they're older, then they, then they can go. Last group of books is really probably definitely eight or nine years old up because they are more information all than like cute stories. They're basically teaching you information about dance and in a fun picture way. So the first one's Hooray for Ballet. It's about a girl who hangs out with her uncle in New York who he is a ballet dancer. What I like about it, first of all, is that it's explaining that boys dance too because she's talking about her experience with her uncle at the ballet. So that's really cool because boys do dance too. It's not just a girl thing. It's actually really athletic for boys. So it shows that element. It also just tells you all the information about how ballet began and different elements of a class and what ballet can benefit you even if you're not going to be a ballet dancer. It can help you with flexibility and strength and all that. It's got these cool sort of journal entry style moments and cool pictures. Next one is just 
the illustrated book of ballet stories. Basically, it is just ballet stories. I really like how they lay it out. They do like a page, they do like the big story, and then they have like talks about what all the different parts are, and they actually have pictures from productions in it, so you get to see the ballet dancers dancing. And it's just a great way to get introduced to things like Nutcracker or Swan Lake or all those things because a lot of people, if they don't get to go to the ballets, they don't know what the stories are about. So then if you start talking about it, the children will just look at you blankly. Uh, so it's a great way to kind of introduce them. It does have the CD of ballet music with it as well from all these ballets. But that's pretty cool too. Last one is really for any age, I'm telling you, because it's so such a wealth of information about ballet, and it's just called ballet. And it talks about the steps and the dancers and different performances and all the ballet stories. It tells you how to do your hair for class, what the parts of your shoe are, how to tie your point shoes when you get your point shoes, just what costuming and makeup is about, all those things are in this book. So if you're an adult, you can read this. If you're a kid, you can read this. Anybody can read this. Everybody needs a picture book to help them learn something new if you're wanting to learn about ballet. So this is my last favorite and it's pretty awesome. Those were my favorite dance-related children's books. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I will see you next week. I'm hoping to get back into the book review groove from now on because I've settled a little bit more. So hopefully there'll be a book review next week and I will see you then. Thank you for watching. Bye.